In this video, we're going to go over how to set up switches and relay style for your accessories. We're going to install some in the orange dually, as well as button up a few other things in that. And uh, we got this front axle all together. So let's get to it. So when you're adding in circuits and stuff into your truck or your car or whatever, there's really kind of two ways to go about it. There's kind of the newer way, right, with your switch panel and that's all run off of a solid state relay. It's got, you know, four, six, eight, twelve, however many circuits built into it. It's super easy to add stuff into and all that, but not everyone wants this look. Some people want like the old school switch panel or like you know like just a toggle switches like in the orange truck here and uh if you're only going to have a couple circuits you don't need all that it's okay to do it the old way so here's kind of how to do that so you got your relay this is a waterproof relay it's got five prongs or four prongs the ones that have four prongs don't have this middle one which i'll show you that's this light this one doesn't exist in a four prong so it's basically think of it like a cross you've got your power going through and then your signal to turn it on so you've got your fuse battery panel going to the number 30 which is this little bottom guy and then the power out is on 87 which is the top guy or that red light which we'll show you in a little bit is the middle one that's 87a then you've got these two on the side that turn this that turn the relay on and off you got 85 that's your ground and then you've got 86 which is coming from your switch so I wired up a quick little test diagram here so the way this works is on a five panel or on a five pin 87 a is like normally closed so with your switch off it's sending the power through 87 a when you flick your switch it changes it and sends the power through 87 and turns 87a off so you could use that like if you wanted your fog lights on and you want them to turn off when your high beams are on you would use it like that so your high beams whichever way you know your your fog lights would be on 87a your high beams would be on 87 so when you flip your switch turn your high beams on fog lights turn off turn your high beams off fog lights turn back on so we'll go live on this and I'll show you that that's how I have this set up. So the red light is 87A. This little fog light I had laying around is 87. We've got our switch, got our fused power. We've got our super, super safe OSHA approved power relay system. So we're going to very carefully attach this to the battery. So, switch is off, red light's on. Switch is on, red light's off, fog light's on. Go back the other way, and this is a lighted switch. So that lets you know the switch is on. Off, red light's back on, on, that's light back on, that one's off. It's kind of a crash course in how those work. The reason why if you're going to have a whole bunch of circuits, you don't really want to go this way, is this adds a lot of wiring really, really fast. Um, whereas this makes it super clean, like on Merle, right? So, because I've got a bunch more circuits coming. I've got my panel. And then all my wiring right there. Just right on my fender. That's the benefit of this style. But if you want kind of that old school toggle look like this, that doesn't really work with the modern switch panels. So you need to do the old style. And like I said, this thing's only getting fog lights in the front, that fancy light bar on top, 
the fancy light bar up there and then these guys so this will be more than good for that but we'll demonstrate one more time so your red lights on red lights off that one's on with the switch and so if you just want one light to turn on and off with the switch you just don't hook 87a up and then that light doesn't exist now it just works like normal switch on off on off there you go so one's really not better than the other it just kind of depends on what you want and what your goals are with with what you're setting up so as you can see i use both myself it just depends on what you're using them for all right so we're going to build a little mini harness on this so that we can just roll it up into the truck and just plug it in so we're going to do the light bar up top the grill lights this will be the secondary reverse lights and i'll leave this one open i don't know if he's going to want to add another light thing later but a four switch panel is what i had so that's what we're doing i'm sure i can find something else to add to it later so these are lighted switches so they're going to have your power in your power out and also a ground so that your light will work there. so light bar grill lights don't know and this is reverse lights. So we don't need to worry about this one. This one's got its own harness as part of the light bar. And this guy just needs to jump. So we're gonna do a little jumper wire. We've got our power in, this will be fused, and then it'll hook to power on here, and then we're just gonna jump between them all. So, doesn't need a big old long guy. We are going to heat shrink everything because we got exposed, exposed dealios. So there we go. They're all jumpered together because they all need power. So this is going to be in like that. We'll go off of this one. So power. Power. Power like that and then this will run to our fuse block and it'll go through a fuse on the way there so they'll have fused power. Then we need to do the same thing with a ground. All right, same thing, ground. And then they'll need their own individual loads because they're each going to something different. There we go. And then I can just run the load wire where they need to go. And this one, like I said, is gonna plug into the harness that came with the light bar. So let's go get this installed. All right, so we're gonna button up the wiring on this thing today. We gotta wire these switches in, clean this crap up, cause this is unacceptable, 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 unacceptable. This little bare wire here is unacceptable. And these switches are going to control, this is a double phase backup light, so it's got two stages. So it's gonna control one stage of that, the other stage will be with the reverse light. We're putting some KC lights behind the grill. And then we've got this freaking sweet 52 inch ox beam light bar with like their 5D lens or whatever they want to call it. 
This thing looks like it's going to be freaking gnarly bright. And so it came with its own pre-wired harness, which we're going to have to extend because this will reach into the cab to the switch and that's going to go to one of the switches in there. But there's no way that this is going to reach up there. So we'll extend this. This is just two wires, positive and ground. That'll be quick and easy. And then all those other lights, we're going to do the old school way, which I haven't done yet, but I'll probably have already showed you how to do it in the video because I'm going to do a little mock-up of it. So that's probably already done. So you know what we're going to do there on this cool little aluminum brackety I made for it. Go check her out. Turn it on. So we'll go out tonight when it's dark and light that thing up and see how bright it is. Let me know what we think. All right, so we got this front end together. Got our Bilsteins, our hired crossover. Everything's all greased. Got the Rough Stuff heavy duty skid plate. It's all aligned. Oh my Lord, that's bright. So, that's how you do it with switches and relays. If you want to see a video on how to do it with the switch panel and the solid state relay box deal, click right here. If you want to see more videos of fun truck stuff, click right here. And remember, if you don't get started, you're never going to blind the crap out of yourself filming outros for the internet. <laughs>